So this is a case of a male neutered 11 year old Staffordshire Bull Terrier weighing 23 kilos. He presented with a history of diagnosed hyperadrenocorticism, but the vets dealing with him were having real difficulty in stabilising him. So during the scan, I wanted to focus um, heavily on um, looking at the adrenal glands for this reason. Uh, we did scan the whole abdomen, but uh, we'll focus on what our findings were on the left adrenals. So here we've got from the left hand side, we've got the aorta closest to the probe and then the caudal vena cava just slightly further away. This is a moving image here. Um, so we can see that there's some something hypoechoic here um, in this region and we can see that the vessel extends from the aorta up around it and that vessel is the uh, left renal artery and just cranial to it we've got this large hypoechoic structure um, and, and that is in the region of the left adrenal gland. So a little bit closer here we can see the aorta and the caudal vena cava and then we've got the left renal artery coming round and here we've got the caudal pole of the adrenal gland with the cranial pole just ahead of it here. Here again we have the cranial pole of the adrenal gland and the caudal pole which is massively enlarged here. Again cranial pole and caudal pole and we can just make out the phrenico abdominal vein which crosses uh, between those two poles of the left adrenal. Applying Doppler we can really see the left renal artery looping round the adrenal gland and we can see the aorta down here. Um, we're looking for any turbulence in the blood vessels, any sign of uh, invasion into the local ve blood vessels there. And there's none seen. So here we are measuring the caudal pole of the left adrenal gland. So in a dog weighing uh, 23 kilos, as this dog does, I'd expect the left adrenal to be around the half centimetre mark. Um, but in, in this dog, uh, it was measuring at um, 2.75 centimeters so massively um, increased in size. Here we're looking at the right adrenal for comparison so here is the right adrenal uh, we've got the caudal vena cava coming across over here and we can see the uh, aorta and the left renal artery over here popping into view occasionally but this structure here this hypoechoic structure is the right adrenal and we can see it's much smaller than the left adrenal was again you can see the caudal vena cava coming across uh, in this cine loop so we'll see that here and then the right adrenal line right up against it it's sort of l-shaped uh, this is one arm of it, um, the caudal arm. So here we can see the, the right adrenal again popping into view just here. So here we can see we're measuring the right adrenal in comparison and this was measuring at 0.4 centimetres so right around what I'd expect a left adrenal to be in a dog this size possibly even slightly reduced um, and that can happen if the uh, other adrenal gland is, is uh, um, over functioning then it can sort of atrophy a bit um, so yeah 0.4 centimetres for this adrenal gland so the difference between the the left measuring 2.75 centimeters compared to 0.4 centimeters on this side is is huge in difference so this case was an adrenal dependent hyper adrenocorticism it's likely due to a primary functional tumor in this case we didn't see any local invasion or metastases so surgical resection of the left adrenal gland was likely to have a, a positive outcome in this case